Good morning, friends. It's week five of our Let It Out series. It's been so good to learn about different emotions and hear how David experienced all of the same emotions as we do. David was certainly not a wimp, but he felt all the good and uncomfortable emotions. And he was not afraid to be honest and let it all out to God, no matter how he was feeling. We're ending this series with the emotion, sadness. It's not the cheeriest way to end the series, but knowing that it's okay to feel sad and how to express sadness is super important. Think about it this way. If you never had a bad day or felt sad, how would you appreciate or even know what joy and happiness feel like? Have you ever had a day when everything was falling apart? but out of nowhere, someone did something to make you smile, the happiness and joy you felt in that moment would not have been as powerful on a good day. I think it's important to remember that you can have days where you feel a bunch of different emotions. If you have a day like that, you are just like David. In the Psalm we're reading today, it feels like David is on an emotional roller coaster, going up and down and up and down. David wasn't afraid of looking or sounding crazy to God. He knew that he could come to God with all of his emotions and God would be there to comfort him. So that reminds me of today's takeaway. I can come to God for comfort when I'm sad. Let's say it again. I can come to God for comfort when I'm sad. Even when I'm sad, I like to sing to God because it helps me to remember to focus on Him. This is my faith, this is my focus, all of my days, I know where my hope is, I live it loud. I shout the chorus because I know, oh, you're always for us. And even when it's hard for me to see, to see, I will trust in you. I will believe, believe. And even when it's hard for me to see, to see, I will trust in you. I will believe and keep on looking, looking, looking to you for where I'm going. No. You go there too. I keep on looking, looking, looking to you. I fix my eyes on you. Thank you.
Before we get into our Bible story today, do you remember the scene from the movie Inside Out when Bing Bong, Riley's imaginary friend, is sad because Riley won't remember him anymore? As he sits down to cry, Joy wants to distract him from being sad. But sadness just sits down next to him and lets him cry. And what happened after that? He felt better. Sometimes we need to sit with our sadness and then let it out so that we can move on to joy again. You know, emotions make me think of the seed. Sometimes life can make us feel hard and closed off. And that's if that's not enough, sadness can pile on until we feel buried by it. If we try to run away from sadness or stuff it down and leave it, nothing changes. But when we let our tears out, we begin to change. Our hard shell becomes softer and hope begins to sprout. While we don't want to stay in our sadness, it is so important that like with all of our emotions, we find a good way to let them out to God. Because when we do that, God is there to not only comfort us, but to help us grow. And eventually, joy is in full bloom again. If you have your Bible, pull it out and turn with me to Psalm 42. David went through a lot of hard times in his life, and thankfully he wrote about them for us. Sometimes we only look at the highlights of David's life, like when he killed the giant or became king, and we forget about the years he spent alone, running and fighting for his life before he became the king. He had plenty of bad days after he became king too. But definitely, David was not a stranger to sadness. In this Psalm, like many others, it feels like David is on an emotional roller coaster. He talks about how sad he is, but then he remembers how great God is and it lifts him up. Up and down, up and down he goes. You get it. While I'm reading, I want you to sit down when David sounds sad and stand up when David remembers how God is good to him. Are you ready? As the deer longs for streams of water, so I long for you, O oh God. I thirst for God, the living God. When can I go and stand before him? Day and night I have only tears for food, while my enemies continually taunt me, saying, Where is the God of yours? My heart is breaking as I remember how it used to be. I walked among the crowds of worshipers, leading a great procession to the house of God, singing for joy and giving thanks amid the sound of a great celebration. Why am I so discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again, my savior and my God. Now I am deeply discouraged, but I will remember you even from distant Mount Hermon, the source of the Jordan, from the land of Mount Mizar. I hear the tumult of the raging seas as your waves and surging tides sweep over me. But each day the Lord pours his unfailing love upon me and through each night I sing his songs, praying to God who gives me life. O oh God, my rock, I cry, why have you forgotten me? Why must I wander around in grief, oppressed by my enemies? Their taunts break my bones, they scoff. Where is this God of yours? Why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will praise, I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again my Savior and my God. Woo! Are you out of breath from all the ups and downs? David is clearly experiencing deep sadness in this chapter, and he's so honest with God about it. However, he kept coming back to his hope in God. David was comforted by the fact that he could talk to God about his feelings, and he knew that God was right there with him in the middle of his sadness. Do you remember today's takeaway? Let's say it together again. I can come to God for comfort when I'm sad. You know, when I'm sad, I tend to also feel lonely. But this verse 
helps or this takeaway helps me remember that I'm never truly alone. I believe the sadness and heartbreak David is feeling in this chapter is super relatable. I want us to read just verse four one more time. It says, my heart is breaking as I remember how it used to be. I walked among the crowds of worshipers, leading a great procession to the house of God, singing for joy and giving thanks amid the sound of a great celebration. How relatable is that verse to what we're going through right now? My heart is breaking as I remember how it used to be. Nothing seems to be the way it used to be. Everyone is saying we're in a new normal. School looks different. There are new rules almost daily that we have to follow. People we know are sick or lonely, and even church looks different. You might feel like you're on the edge of falling apart some days. If one, or more, if one more thing changes, you're just gonna lose it. But here's the good news. One thing hasn't changed and will never change. God is with us, just like he was there for David. He is here in the middle of our mess with us, ready to comfort us when we need it, and reminding us that we still have hope. What do you need to talk to God about today? It's okay if you feel like you're on an emotional roller coaster right now. Take God with you. He will be there to listen to you and comfort you through all the ups and downs you're feeling. Let's pray and be honest with him today. Are you ready? Dear God, the world is so confusing right now. Nothing seems to be the same as it once was. But God, we are so grateful that you never change. Would you give us your comfort, God, and remind us to comfort those around us who may also be struggling. We love you and we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, it's time for our final review. Do you think you're ready? I do. Okay, number one, what emotion did we talk about today? Sadness. And two, why was David's heart broken? Because he remembered how good things used to be. Next, what helped David get back up when he was discouraged? His hope in God. And what's today's takeaway? I can come to God for comfort when I'm sad. Friends, I'm so glad we had this time to talk about our feelings. Remember, God wants you to talk to him about all of your feelings. Whether you're joyful or really angry, he can take it. It's also important to talk to other people about your feelings, like your parents and your friends. You can even talk to me. So feel all of your feelings, tell them to God, and remember to focus on the never-changing goodness of God. See you next time.